Hi everyone, this video is serving as my weekly uh, State of the School updates. I do have just a few brief announcements um, and then following this video, you will be receiving an email with our reopening plan. A couple of things just to keep in mind with our reopening plan as you review it is that it's still in draft form, meaning that there are components of the plan that may have to change um, depending on the circumstances of what COVID-19 looks like in our community as we move closer to school beginning. Um, also under our response to if a student or staff member um, tests positive for COVID-19, those um, protocols um, were fully developed by our uh, medical advisory team that has been working with me closely. And the caveat to all of that planning is that we will still be in consultation with the health department in all circumstances. And so that is our plan that you see outlined in the reopening document, but there may be some variations of that plan based on what the health department advises that we do per each circumstance. Um, and if there are changes to those protocols, given whatever the health department advises us to do as a school, I will be sure to communicate that with you um, as parents as effectively as I can. But just please know um, that it is a start, it's a plan, and that we will have to adapt and, ch and change um, in many of those avenues. Um, something that will look different than what has previously been communicated to you as families as far as our expectations for mask wearing. Um, originally, we were going to ask our 4K and 5K students to wear face shields um, just so that it was easier for us to see their mouths as we we're teaching them language and literacy skills. However, with the governor's order, face shields can be worn, um, but there still needs to be a face mask underneath. And so we won't be able to just have students or staff wear just the face shield. They do actually have to wear a face covering um, per the govern governor's order. So just a, a note on that. Um, on August 13th at 4 p.m., I will be holding a town hall virtual town hall meeting um, in place of my weekly state of the school. This meeting will allow for you as parents to ask any um, questions of the reopening plan um, committee or myself, and we will do our very best to respond um, to any of those questions. So please be on the lookout for more details on how you can participate in that virtual town hall. Uh, tuition agreements. So tuition agreements will be coming out towards the end of this week, maybe the be very beginning, um, like Monday or Tuesday of next week. Um, so be on the lookout for those. It was important. Um, I know typically families have received those much sooner, um, but we felt that it was important that you had um, as much of our plan as possible before um, receiving those agreements. So please be on the lookout for those. Um, just a few updates about our illness um, prevention strategies. So we've had lots of deliveries over the last few days, which has been really exciting. Um, we are putting in um, touchless faucets in all of the children's bathrooms. Every classroom will have a touchless hand sanitizer unit, um, along with a variety of other cleaning materials for the teachers. And then there's some other technology that's outlined in the reopening document as well that our maintenance staff will use to sanitize our classrooms, our bathrooms, um, and our playground equipment. So those are all of my brief updates for this week. Um, please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or concerns as you review the reopening document. Thank you so much for the reopening committee of teachers um, and school committee members that have helped guide in our decision-making process. Um, as well as our medical advisory team. Really, without any of those people, it would have been almost impossible for this work to be done. So I'm truly grateful for your support, um, your knowledge and your dedication in making sure that St. Monica Parish School is as safe as possible for an in-person return. Um, again, just reach out if you have any questions or concerns and I will see you or most of you, I hope, during my virtual town hall meeting next week. Take care.